A Tale of Two Evaluations by Beverly Williams, Distinguished Toastmaster. You will hear how my default evaluation was not Toastmaster approved. You will learn how to evaluate effectively. And finally, you will hear a story about a good evaluation. My mother was taught to play the violin in the 1930s and 40s by a Russian immigrant with much criticism. She taught me to play in the 70s when there was this emerging brand new concept that perhaps all criticism wasn't a good idea. Therefore, when she taught me, she would start with a half hearty compliment file on criticism after criticism after criticism, and then end with another half-hearty compliment. If you compared her teaching technique to a sandwich, it would look like this, with too much criticism inside. It was very hard to take this way of teaching. Just like how hard it is to eat a sandwich like this with too much inside. As it says in the poem, Children Learn What They Live by Dorothy Lou Nolte, if a child lives with criticism, he learns to condemn. Consequently, because of how I was raised, the default way I would evaluate would be to criticize and condemn. Therefore, my first evaluation tale is a sad one. One time when I was evaluating an icebreaker speech, my default critical nature emerged. My evaluation was filled with so much criticism that the speaker never returned to Toastmasters. By contrast, more of that poem states, if a child lives with encouragement, he learns confidence. If a child lives with praise, he learns to appreciate. If a child lives with approval, he learns to like himself. But if we only encourage and praise, how will anyone improve? What is the balance? How do you give an effective evaluation? Great question. Before the speech, review the Pathways Evaluation form and talk with the speaker briefly to review and discuss the Pathways objectives and guidelines. Ask about any specific concerns the speaker has regarding the speech. On your own, look at page two to remind yourself of the other speaking goals. During the speech, record your impressions. Listen, was there a hook, jokes? What was the organization? What were the main points? Was there a call to action? Notice the speaking clarity, speed, gesture, stage use, eye, con eye contact, eye contact, audience connection. And notice what the speaker wanted you to note. During the table topics, organize your evaluation using the Toastmaster approved sandwich method. Encourage, improve, encourage and pray that the table topics take a long time. Organize your evaluation. Start with the positives by listing the items from the second page of the evaluation sheet. Remember those are clarity, speed, gestures, eye contact, organization, and so on. Remember to summarize the speech. People want to know that they have been heard. Address whether the speaker met the pathways objectives for the speech. Notice any improvement over the last speech. If the last speech 
for instance, the speaker had 20 ums and this speech only had five, celebrate that. List one or two areas for improvement, remembering to set, suggest how to improve and end with an encouragement. The encouragement could be summarizing the key points, repeating a positive or several positives, repeat their call to action. Most importantly, look forward to the speaker's next speech. Remember, if this is your first time evaluating, it's okay to just summarize the speech. Also remember to use I statements and not you statements. For instance, rather than saying, you look nervous, say, I noticed that you were wringing your hands a lot. Have you considered practicing the speech a little bit more? Or have you considered moving your toes when you're nervous? That's, those are two other ways that you could get rid of nervous energy. Remember that everyone is on their own speaking journey but most importantly, remember that many of the mistakes new speakers make go away simply by speaking more often. So the whole idea of the encouragement, a few areas of improvement and more encouragement is to get everyone to speak more often. My second evaluation tale. I joined Toastmasters on a Sunday and gave my icebreaker speech a mere two days later. I am sure there were at least 20 areas of improvement. However, the amazing evaluator used the Toastmasters evaluation sandwich method. She complimented me, gave me only two areas of improvement, telling me how to improve, and spent the rest of the time complimenting me. I was so encouraged, I thought, I can improve in those two areas. I gave a speech a mere two weeks later. The next evaluation similarly encouraged my strengths and gave me two more areas of improvement. By the evaluations, I was simultaneously encouraged in the strengths I already had demonstrated and challenged to do better. And there was no waiting days or weeks for the encouraging and helpful information. It was immediate. I wanted to speak again and again. When we use the Toastmasters evaluation method, we get the best results because a sandwich that has only a few areas of improvement is a speaking sandwich that truly nourishes the speaker. Thank you so much. And happy evaluating.